my video for the last day of 2018, December 31st, is entitled 2018 Ends. Will 2019 be a happy new year? <laughs> there are definitely changes going on behind the scenes. Like many, I wait for the news to be incontrovertible. There is no doubt that the mainstream lies to us. We have been lied to in virtually every aspect of our lives. Separating the wheat from the chaff is no easy task. Yes, I'd like it if Trump is really draining the swamp and ending the New World Order scam that has been ongoing for a very long time. I do not expect the criminal cabal to tell the truth about anything until such time as they have no other choice. The public arrest of high-profile players would be a powerful indicator of actual change but even that could be a series of staged events. Are reports of Guantanamo gearing up for mass arrests true? The US flags are still flying at half mast where I live. This has been ordered by Trump, at least that is what I was told. If, and that's a little word with big significance, reports from some alternative news are actually true, 2019 might just prove to be the year we see the collapse of the criminal and demonic conspiracy against humanity. For those of us who have lived, who have tried our best to live with integrity, that would certainly mark the beginning of a truly happy new year. <laughs> Yes, I think holiday season every year is a time of introspection for me. And with the death of my first cousin at such an early age, although ironically, the obituary at a different age than what I was told, I was told he was 54. And the obituary uh, about his death said that he was 59. So I'm not sure which one of those numbers is true. Uh, I really don't know. He lived in Virginia, and of course I live in Florida, so uh, he's not someone that I've kept in touch with, and he is an, uh, an evangelical fundamentalist Christian, uh, which also most of my extreme religious family are very, very much uh, opposed to me because I have as I've said in so many videos, tried to build bridges between various points of view, because to me, the central core of all truth is to love one another, which has nothing to do with religion. Religion has always been a wedge that has been driven between us. In any case, uh, the blurb talks about changes that we can see. And I know there's a lot of people that say, Ron, have Keep the faith, keep the faith. Well, I've kept the faith throughout my life, but it's becoming more and more challenging. As I uh, woke up really early this morning that I'm recording this, and this is being recorded on the 30th, uh, but as I woke up, uh, I had a, another a mild, I guess, mild heart attack. I mean, it was pain in my chest right where my heart is. And then when I took my blood pressure, the pulse is just as low, which means it's less than 40 because it records it down to 40. But anything below 40, it just says LO. And uh, the, uh, the heart rate the, it was 125 over 60 or something like that. Uh, so that's, you know, not a significant problem. And it's w within the realm of, of normal, although most of the time it's a uh, 120 something over 70 something, sometimes low 80s. But in any case, uh, I don't feel bad as I'm recording this. I did go back to sleep and uh, catch maybe another hour or so sleep after I went to bed, I went back to bed. And I'm feeling somewhat better. I have a busy day. Every Sunday is a busy day. I have meetings in the morning and meetings at night. Um, 
And so there's a lot on my plate. Uh, but I'm really wanting for change to come. And as far as the flags flying at half mast, I, I was told that Trump ordered that. I thought initially that it was because of George Bush dying. And, and some have said that that death was, uh, he was actually executed. Um, again, there's, there's such a dichotomy between uh, what some people are saying. I mean, some people are saying one thing, others are saying another thing, and they each seem to make valid points. I know I, I've said that numerous times as well. And I try to stay, I, I don't try to get all of my information from one source. I try to look at various sources and uh, I subscribe to various news channels and stuff like that. And I don't mean CNN or any, what we would think of as mainstream news. I'm talking about alternative uh, news channels that present uh, viewpoints that are not something that you would see on CBN or CBS or ABC or NBC or any of those. Uh, Fox again, has a little bit more variety of stories than the others. The others seem to be totally in the box of, uh, of, con of the controlled media and of the elite establishment uh, that lies to us. Uh, and uh, aliens, you know, there are, I believe there are good aliens, but again, alien is another interesting word. It has lie in the middle of it. Uh, and the aliens that seem to be in control are liars. They are not beings that are noted for telling the truth. On the contrary, they have been, uh, as we wake up more and more, we realize that they not only have been, but they still are perpetual liars. If their lips are moving, they're lying, and there's rare exceptions to that, to that reality. And I'd like to see everything swept out. I'd like to see the ho a house cleaning go on, where the house we call planet Earth is swept clean of, all, of, of these demonic influences so that humanity can finally start catching glimpses and ultimately come to the realization that things are not what we have been told. Now, I'm not talking about the shape of the earth. There's, uh, every once in a while, I, I start, a, start watching a video or something, and they start getting in that the earth is, is flat, you know, the flat earth theory. And I'm sorry, I don't see that as being relevant at all. It's another smoke screen that has been put in place to divide people and to get it, get them in, get us into various camps. Uh, to me, the globe makes sense because it spins and we get day and night and, and seasons and stuff like that. It doesn't make sense on a flat earth in the flat earth model from what I understand. Anyway, folks, I'm rambling and I know I am, uh, but I'm wanting to see, real positive change for 2018. I'd really like to see Trump come through with some of the things that have been promised. I'm still not convinced he's gonna do what he says he's gonna do. I'm not convinced even if he wants to do it that he's going to be able to do it. But in any case, if they uh, do start ending, ending up arresting Hillary and, and the Bushes and, and, Var and especially uh, uh, George Soros. I mean, he's probably one of the most uh, outrageous demons out there, and he looks horrible. I mean, he's he's a not a very good-looking man at all. Uh, but he's been given a lot of power to do a lot of nasty things, including financing people's exodus uh, out of Central America and Mexico into the United States. And that's why the wall, Trump wants to build the wall. Anyway, I'm running out of time. So thank you folks for listening. And I hope 2018 is a good new year. Namaste.